Hello and welcome to Cat Yellow Weekly tutorial number 3. Today's video is primarily made for both parents and kids as well as beginners to have a fun time while creating a painting. Before we start, let's take a look at different tree shapes. If you observe nature, you'll see that trees come in a range of shapes. Pyramid, round, broad, etc. For today's painting, we are using a spreading tree shape. But wait, painting a tree cannot be that much fun I hear you say. So to bring some fun into the process, I'm going to paint the tree leaves using blue color which is not natural for leaves. If you use photo editing software, you may be familiar with the term color splash. It's a technique where you desaturate all colors except one. In other words, one color really stands out against a black and white background. We are looking to create a similar effect through this painting and hence we need only black, white and blue colors to make this. I've got a 12 inch by 9 inch black canvas panel here. I've already applied a layer of black acrylic paint and allowed it to dry. You may do the same but it's not necessary. Let's start by adding some black paint and white paint to the palette at a 30-70 ratio. Mix both the colors using a palette knife to create a grey shade. Once you're done with the mixing, take this paint on a small flat brush and draw the tree trunk and the main two branches. Please make sure that the lines are not straight. Once you paint the tree trunks and the roots, let's proceed with drawing the smaller branches using a liner brush. At this point, you may want to add a drop of water to dilute the paint. This will help the brush glide through the strokes while dispensing the paint onto the canvas as you require. You can draw as many branches as you like. I follow two simple rules for this. First is that a branch splits into a maximum of three sub branches and the second is that the sub branches will always be thinner than the main branch from which they originate. We can now move on to painting the first layer of leaves with the same paint. We are going to use a filbert brush for this. To achieve the required effect, hold the brush as vertically as possible and gently, without any force, tap around the tip of the branches. I am holding the brush slightly inclined, otherwise my hand will block your view. This process could take a few minutes. However, please take care to apply consistent technique throughout. Continue until the tips of all branches have been covered with the initial layer of paint for leaves. Then paint a few more leaves along the stem of the thinner branches but this time away from the tips. Once you are happy with how the tree appears with the initial layer of leaves, move on to the next stage but allow the paint to dry first. I normally use a hairdryer to do this and it takes me less than a minute. Add some more black and white and blend together to make the same grey shade. We will use this colour to paint the ground. Painting the ground is very easy. Simply apply the paint using the palette knife itself. Use a press and release technique to achieve a textured effect. Keep the top edge of the ground and the bottom edge of the canvas as parallel to each other as possible.
Now using a dry filbert brush, gently drag some paint upwards to create the indication of grass on the ground. We are now in the final stage of this painting, which is to create the color splash effect. Add cerulean blue and white to the palette at an 80 to 20 ratio and blend well. Take a small piece of sponge with all the sharp edges removed and press it firmly into the blue paint mix. And then gently tap the leafy areas of the tree with the sponge using the least amount of pressure as possible. Do not cover the whole of the initial layer of leaves. Allow some of the grey colour to show through. Continue until you have covered the entire leafy areas of the tree. And then, using the same technique, apply some blue paint on the ground to give the indication of fallen leaves. Now, to complete this work, paint some stars at the top part of the canvas using white paint and a fine point round brush. For a painting of this size, I would normally paint a couple of big stars and surround them with a number of small stars. Make sure some stars can be seen between the tree branches. And with that, we have finished this work. Hope this video was helpful and that you created a great painting. See you again next week. Until then, stay safe and take care.